So today we are starting with chromosomes. Okay. DNA condenses to form what? DNA condenses to form chromatin. DNA condenses to form chromatin, which again condenses to form chromosome. Okay. What does condensation mean? Do you know that? We studied in the last class also. Okay. Structure of DNA is double helical structure. It can condense means it get coiled. First coiling is chromatin. Later it gets coiled again to form chromosome. Why is this coiling happening? Compact space. We see the structure we saw. What we saw at the last class was a microscopic image. The cell is not that big, right? The cell, inside the cell, there is a nucleus and that is also very smaller, uh, maybe in like microns. So it should be get fit in that, right? So that is why the coiling happens. In a normal cell, when we uh, look at the nucleus, we can see chromatin only, okay? This is a cell and we studied that this is a cell membrane. This is the cytoplasm and we have a nucleus. Okay, we have the nucleus inside which we are, this chromatin is present. The DNA is present in the form of chromatin that is in the condensed form, okay? To accommodate this larger uh, portion of DNA or the larger structure of DNA inside the small nucleus, it is in the very smaller form or coiled form. Okay, clear? How many chromosomes are present? So, uh, okay, the chromatin, it is clear, right? Okay, why is the chromatin again condensed to form chromosome? This happens because of cell division. Why is cell division occurring? For growth and reproduction. Now, chromosomes. As I said before, DNA condenses to form chromatin first, then it also again condenses to form chromosomes, mainly in the cell division time. Okay, so we can see here that there are many species here. Okay, man, chimpanzee, dog, rice, okay. The chromosome number also is different, right? In the round worm, in the round worm, four chromosomes are present. But in the Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens is human, okay? 46 chromosomes. So normally in every human being, we can see 46 chromosomes, okay? 46 chromosomes means 23 pairs. That is why our cell is called as diploid. Diploid means two ploid. A ploid means one, 23. Diploid means two into 23, that is 46. Clear? Can I say that in every human cell, or every human cell is a diploid cell. Can I say that every human cell is a diploid cell? Yes or no? But no, no is the answer, why? What did I say just now? Every human cell contains 23 chromosome, right? That is why we say that every human cell is diploid, but there is an exception. That is gamete, gametes, sperm and ova. Sperm and ova is fuses to form a cygot, which is the first cell or the basic cell from which every human being is formed, right? So if the sperm and ova has 46 chromosomes each, that is 23 pair chromosomes, then what will be the number? This fuse is right. Okay, this is a sperm and this is an ova. Sperm, if sperm contains 43 chromosomes and ova contains 46, 46 chromosomes, it fuses to form a zygote, right? If each of this contains 46, then it will be 92 chromosomes in the zygote. Is it possible? It is possible, but it is a, it's not normal. It's an anomaly. It will cause disease. Are you clear with this? In every normal cell, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. That is 46 chromosomes in each cell. But when it comes to gametes, when it comes to gametes, because gametes, when the gametes fuses, zygote is formed. So this is a sperm and this is an ova. When the sperm and ova fuses to form zygote, the sperm should contain only 23 chromosomes, not pairs. Okay? And ova should contain only 23 chromosomes and not pairs. That is the reason why zygote has 46 chromosomes. 23 from sperm and 23 from ova. This is the normal thing. That is why in not in every human cell there will be 23.
23 pairs that is 46 chromosomes in sperm and ova there will be only 23 chromosomes okay that is why sperm and ova are haploid cells there are two kinds of cells diploid and haploid haploid cells are in which there are 23 pairs of chromosomes that is 46 46 chromosomes in haploid cells there are only 23 chromosomes okay for exa uh, example of haploid is sperm and ova that is gametes clear so that is what written here chromosomes normally exist as pairs in human beings we have 46 chromosomes that is 23 pairs the number of chromosomes differ from species to species that is what, which is shown in this figure clear okay now there are 46 chromosomes that is 23 pairs in a normal cell this is called diploid clear